A thread by Carlos Osuita. I knew this tweet was coming. Let me explain why people who correct are jerks. It's dick measuring. And this guy is wrong, of course. Chris Vambos says, who is dumb? 50 cal is not a counter sniper rifle in domestic urban environments. It's an anti-material rifle. Wrong tool, wrong job. If you're going to debunk anything. You need to get your own facts straight. Who is going to believe you if you can't get the basic stuff right? Carlos responds. It took me, a layman with no military experience, exactly three seconds to find this, the M107 50 caliber long range sniper rifle. It is especially valuable during military operations in urban terrain where greater firepower and standoff ranges provide counter sniper capability while enhancing sniper survivability. From globalsecurity.org. And then this. Ta da! This is common sense. If you have to get in close, you're going to be vulnerable. Long range sniping makes it harder for the enemy to locate you. And I have no military training. This is why I dropped out of the military history community. In all the time I spent there, I met two nice people. One is French and one is Italian. Everybody else had his dick in one hand, a ruler in the other, and a chip on his shoulder. Today, I discover new things all the time. I never share them with people in the historical period I study. People who also study that historical period. If I tried, they'd attack me in a thundering herd. My plan is to write a series of books someday, but I never tell these people anything. My father, one brother and my sister did this. They wouldn't even be taking part in a conversation, but they'd loudly interrupt from across the room to correct a totally irrelevant detail. Dick measuring and insecurity and a power play. It's a personality defect. I read and hear a hundred things a day that I, don't cor that I correct. A guy on YouTube finally fulfilled a life dream of becoming a movie reviewer. His first review was great, but he got one detail wrong. I think he meant to say I read and hear a hundred things a day that I don't correct. But he got one detail wrong. He said that this shows a shark biting a scuba tank. It's actually a pressure gauge. They were measuring the power of the shark's bite. But it doesn't matter. The guy was so happy I wasn't going to interrupt and bring him down. That would make him feel like crap. And that's why people correct trivial details. They want to make people feel like crap. Well, I didn't even feel like crap when my father, brother, or sister did it. All it did was make me feel contempt for such pettiness. And military historians lost a great contributor. I get tons of pleasure out of discovering new facts. And now I feel absolutely no need to share, with, to share them with dick measuring weirdos. If I don't get around to writing my books, so what? I'm going to donate my collection to an institution that will appreciate it. Here's a final note on experts. This photo... Ah, so this photo is in almost every single book on German assault troops on World War I. It's identified as German troops training in Sedan, France. Nope, those are Turks training in Rohatin, Galicia, in what's now Ukraine. The reason everyone thinks they're German is that the German Supreme Army Command Bild und Filmamt Bufa mislabeled it. Bufa was created January 30th, 1917. Up until then, the German visual propaganda effort was carried out by multiple agencies. They sent all their stuff to Bufa, and Bufa hastily labeled it as fast as they could. They got a lot of stuff wrong because they weren't trained infantrymen. We have the same problem. Our official photos are mislabeled. This one, for example. It's labeled as a device for making smoke, but it's actually a Boyd number three flamethrower.
Ta-da. Ta-da. These men are wearing Turkish uniforms and they're equipped with German steel helmets, rifles, and hand grenades. But their shovels are Austrian. Austrians never used German rifles. The photo was taken in 1916. These are men of the Turkish XX Corps. Before the Turks made their own steel helmets, they used German models. I have photos of all of this, but when I publish my book on Turkish assault troops, the dick measurers will say I'm wrong. Experts, quote unquote, say that this Turkish mortar is improvised. Nope. I found a photo of the factory that made them. And I have a photo of a mortar company transporting a whole bunch of them by horseback. On the discussion forums, they all scratch their heads. What's this? Where did it come from? Well, they had their chance. No way am I ever going back. I never give anyone a second chance. Dick measuring is a form of tribalism. And tribalism is primitive. I am a total individual, not a member of any tribe. I'm not worried about the size of others' doohickeys.